Hey YouTube, Striker5570. I'm here with an update on the CBOT printer. Um, as you can see here, I have the motors mounted and the belts in place here. Um, uh, if I remember correctly from my last video, I was waiting on getting the right amount of uh, shims right here. I bought some more precision shims from Open Builds. This will focus here. I don't think it will. There we go. You can see I have the shims on both sides so that wheels spin much more smoothly. <laughs> um, so I have this. It's all hooked up. Um, belt tensions about the same. As close as I could get them to either one. Um, but uh, I have electronics or the, at least the motors um, wired up here. I have the Z motors mounted back here. Um, I'm just missing the X gantry, which I am uh, currently printing. If you come over here on my Tua, which is running off of the ramps board that will be on the C bot. Um, I fried my printer board because that's the second time I fried one of those things and man are they expensive and easy to kill um, uh, but the ramps are you know much better they got heat sinks which I'll, I'll later I'll have a fan to cool these off because these do get very hot um, even after adjusting the current um, I have the uh, the uh, LCD hooked up right now, and I'm currently printing the uh, Z gantry plates for the uh, 20 by 60 extrusions. Um, I already have the other end pieces that will go on there, and uh, so yeah. Um, these steppers here are the uh, I forget exactly which ones they are, but they're the purple ones. Uh, I'll annotate, I'll put in the description what, what the name of the drivers are, but they are 132nd stepping, and uh, as opposed to what I had on the uh, printer board, which is 116th stepping, it is so much smoother uh, on here. Um, it's, it's a lot quieter. It may not seem quieter if you've watched some of it is, because these bearings, they rattle a lot in the X gantry, um, but that grinding is and rattling is from here, um, but it is much quieter. And I don't know if you can uh, see on here, but one of these pieces was from the printer board. Yeah, the piece on the right was printer board. The piece on the left was uh, printed today um, with the ramps board with one thirty second stepping. And you can see there's a lot less artifacts in that print. Um, almost perfect stacking. Um, it's because the motors weren't vibrating as much. Um, a lot less noise uh, that got transferred over into the print. So that is significant and that's gonna produce some awesome print quality when I have them set up in the CBOT. And uh, my phone just can't focus at all. It's terrible, you know. But um, you get the picture. Um, so far, these prints are coming along really well. They're looking really nice. So, um, but yeah, that's uh, a quick update on what's going on. Uh, so, once I have all the pieces printed, I should be able to just plug and play everything. I'll move the electronics over to the C bot and uh, I'll just reflash it saying uh, with the proper dimensions um, and core XY stuff like that and uh, end stops and all that good stuff um, of course it, it won't be exactly plug and play but it actually will speed up the process since I know all the electronics work nicely on here uh, so I'm very excited to get this up and running. So that was just a quick update on how the uh, printer build is going. And uh, 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part four.